Tower Defense Simulator has a lot of skins. Little cosmetics that don't change your tower stats, but can give them a more interesting look. I mean, for a while they were the main content in updates. Which makes sense, since there's 38 towers, and most of them have at least some skins. But I was curious, exactly how many are there? So I went through the entire TDS wiki, and there are exactly 238 skins. At least that was my count, maybe I'm off by like 2 or 3. So naturally, I set out to rank every single one of them, from the slight color swaps to the rarest skins in the game. So first of all, before I reveal the worst skin, there's a few quick things I want to get out of the way. I don't have every single one of the skins, so I received help in getting some footage. As I progress through the video and the skins get better, they'll also progress through loosely grouped tiers, from F all the way up to S+. Now, comparing 200 plus skins was incredibly hard. It's like, hmm, is this bunny mini gunner skin really better than the 37 skins below it? And just worse than the 17 above it? And then how do those 53 skins compare to the other 185 surrounding them? I remade this ranking 6 times and I'm still not entirely satisfied. But at the end of the day, it's all my opinion, so only I'll know if something's really wrong. Uh -huh. Finally, to make this a bit more interesting, I asked 14 YouTubers and community figures what their favorite skin was, so I'll mention them whenever their pick pops up. Hi, I'm editing and realized I made a bit of a mistake when organizing. So to make the numbers work, I'm introducing two honorable mentions, being the Frost Mortar and Vendor Farm, neither of whom were ever officially released. And now onto the first real tier, F, starting with the worst skin in the game, where it's actually a 27 way tie. If you know TDS, you probably knew this was coming, but if you don't, TDS has a basic crate series, which mainly consists of these skins which have no unique models, animations, or anything. All they are is just a minor recolor of some parts of the default skin. Now there are actually two exceptions to this, which I did end up ranking in a higher tier, but those aside, none of these recolors feel particularly eye-catching or even really interesting at all. The first of the community favorites is lumped in here, being the blue crook boss, of course the pick being from Corso, leader of the blue Ed mafia himself. So yeah, now onto E tier, beginning with what I would consider the true worst skin in the game, the Cupid Crook Boss. I've just always really disliked this skin. The model itself is fine, but the color scheme is just really off-putting to me. It's very flat and very lifeless. There's also some weird additions, like the face, and this strange bulky texturing on the arms. Plus this random rose eye patch, which then turns into a brightly glowing neon eye patch. This skin is just not it. Next, I have Vampire Slayer Hunter. Similar reasons, a very flat color scheme and some weird modeling choices. Then I have, probably a bit of a hot take, the Cupid Accelerator. My main problem with this skin is the level 0 model. He has no shirt sleeves. The original Accelerator model mirrored this, so it made sense when it was first released, but when the tower was reworked, the default gained a shirt, while this version didn't. And that just looks very strange and kind of creepy. Next, I have Valentine Soldier, Valentine Scout, Holiday Shotgunner, Holiday Scout, Scout, Holiday Cowboy, if you couldn't tell I'm not a big fan of the Holiday series, the Spooky Crook Boss, Spooky Archer, Pirate Hunter, Heavy Minigunner, another tower with no shirt sleeves, Holiday Soldier, this one's final level is actually pretty strong, the Aerial Ace Pilot and Pumpkin Ace Pilots, both of these are pretty much just slightly improved recolors, Ducky Soldier, Valentine Sniper, Ducky Sniper, Black Ops Scout, Eclipse Scout, Fortress Demo Man, because this skin is going to get tedious soon. Gilly Sniper, Beach Militant, Toy Soldier, Doughboy Soldier, and then there's a run of 3 Commander skins. Commander itself is the tower with the most skins, having 21 variants, and these are some of the oldest, which all suffer from being very basic. These are the General Commander, the Victorian Commander, and the Galactic Commander. There's then a similar run of skins for the Cowboy. Firstly, there's the Redemption Cowboy, then the Bandit Cowboy, and then the Valentine's Cowboy, which leads into Hazmat Pyromancer, Hazmat Militant, Cold Soldier Soldier, the one with the funny name, Acidic Pyromancer, Black Ops Minigunner, Spooky Shotgunner, Ducky Militant, Brisk Commander, and the final skin in E tier, Neon Rave DJ. This one is kind of infamous among the community because basically, in older versions of the game, it was one of the top cosmetics. I mean, I want this thing, everyone wanted this thing. Now, it's become quite literally the default model with RGB lighting, which I can kind of appreciate for being just a chill skin, you know? However, it's also one of the very few skins on this list, which can only be obtained through gambling on the deluxe crate. And that crate can currently only be obtained by spending 300 Robux. So that really sucks. I probably should have rated this lower, honestly. 
The next tier is D, which is led by Cop Cowboy, and then Ducky Cowboy, and then Noir Cowboy. Souls actually picked the Cowboy as his favorite tower skin wise, with Ducky and Noir specifically being two of his top five, which makes sense as these skins are all very high quality, but I kind of have a problem with them, being their shared models, as all these skins feel very samey, an effect kind of shared with Minigunner, as next up I picked its toy skin, and its hazmat skin, into Beach Scout, Military Demo Man, Bosanka Rocketeer and Dark Matt Rocketeer, the Bunny Sniper, the Bunny Paintballer, the first two entries in a prolific series of skins, and then the Castus Cowboy, a very iconic skin, which also had the history of being one of the most broken skins, and has now unfortunately been relegated to generic cowboy skin. Neko Commander, Valentine's Commander, Halloween Hunter, Cyberpunk Cowboy, Pirate Crook Boss, very random run of skins there, Holiday Minigunner, Silent Sniper, this guy's seen some stuff. Hazmat Electroshocker, Twitter Minigunner, Ghost Commander, Golden Soldier, the first golden skin, Agent Cowboy, Lumberjack Militant, Ducky Hunter, a very ordinary skin there, pretty blind, pretty basic. Chocolater Militant, Ghost Pyromancer, Ghost Electroshocker, and Ghost Militant, Frost Commander, Pirate Commander, in the final tower of D tier and the 100th tower of rank so far, that might be wrong, I don't know. Valentine's Pyromancer. Now we've arrived at C tier, where the cosmetics themselves get a lot better and they'll really start to anger some people. I put the community minigunner at the bottom here. The Discord chat bubble reference is neat, but you probably won't even notice it in game. Next, I chose Halo Punk Shotgunner. This skin fell off. Ducky Scout, Black Ops Ranger, Bunny Pyromancer, Cookie Scout. I like the skin a lot, but the final level kind of ruins it. Like, why did they purposefully burn the gingerbread? It's inevitable now. Ace Pilot Militant, a skin on the Big Legacy, not to be confused with the Ace Pilot Tower. Uh, ser seriously, why do they why do they share that name? There's the Pirate Demo Man, Ducky Minigunner, Ducky Commander, Ducky Shotgunner, Eclipse Mortar, Huntsman Archer, Bunny Commander, Ducky Electroshocker, which is cleared by the Ducky Warden. The Baguette Baton is majestic which itself is cleared by the Vigilante Electroshocker. Ghost Minigunner is the highest ranking of the Ghost series, which I really liked when they first came out, but now feel they haven't aged super well. And Valentine's Ranger, Valentine's Archer, Valentine's Electroshocker, Crypto Farm, which has definitely not aged super well, the Gold Empiremancer variant, Crusader Minigunner, Holiday Commander, Eclipse Executioner, and the Present Farm. This skin feels strange. It almost feels like a fan-made or knockoff skin. It uses Roblox gift hats, which I think are taken one-to-one -one from the website, as the presence in the model, which to be fair, the older one also does, but has this sign with the TDS logo, which clashes stylistically, and then untextured random blue dude in the sleigh. Just feels like there's a bit they could have done better here. Like turn it into a bunny skin, as they did with the bunny electroshocker. That's followed by the Xmas Crook Boss, the original 2019 version, Frost Pyromancer, the Golden Scout, Pirate Mortar, Dark Matter Ranger, and the Classic Shotgunner. Which is also where another favorite pick finally pops up, as this was Isaac's top choice. And it is another very iconic skin, representing the much older version of this tower, but not quite as good as Soviet Crook Boss. Then it's Demon Gladiator, Deep Freeze Freezer, I'm sorry but Freezer skins are all low-key peak, Survivor Scout, Vigilante Mortar, the Golden Cowboy, Grand Theft Soldier, Checkers Crook Boss. The skin is very basic and bland, but I kind of like it. If you played TDS in 2020, you probably remember unboxing this guy from a premium crate and feeling that slight twinge of disappointment. Closing out C tier, I have two engineer skins, being Ducky and Holiday. Now the engineer itself is a pretty elite tower, and the models are all very advanced. However, I don't really like any of its skins very much, as there's barely any progression between levels, and they kind of suffer the cowboy effect. I do rate Holiday a bit higher than Ducky, since it at least gets a unique hammer model, which is a nice touch. So onto B tier. Rocketeer skins are all pretty similar, save the color schemes, and I rank the remaining three all around here. Xmas, Pumpkin, and Steampunk. The last of which is actually very rare, as it's remained unobtainable for by the end of this month will have been over three years. I only have the skin on my alternate account. Just above the explosive towers, there's the golden quirk boss, and then the ducky mortar. Frost minigunner, Xmas minigunner, bunny ranger, frost ranger, beach minigunner, ducky farm, which was just the ducky's favorite skin, understandably. I like the early levels on this one a lot, but the latter stages feel kinda random. Like, why is the duck in this industrial looking area? Next, I chose Slugger Gladiator, then the Golden Minigunner, Eclipse Ranger, Vigilante Pyromancer, Toy Rocketeer, a completely broken skin, and then Tycoon Farm, with this skin being Elite's favorite. Generally, I like this one, but it loses some points for me with the weird bugged upgrade outlines, which bother me to an irrational degree. Intern Scout is next, and here is where I place all three party series skins. These are funny to me. 
As they used to all be fun, upbeat skins, but after the various reworks to the base towers, they've all become the default model with a party hat on top, which I actually kind of like a lot. Hopefully these remain like this for a long time and aren't changed in an upcoming minigun rework or something. I put Arcade Farm just above them, a true classic, Railgun Ranger, a normal classic, Brave Soul Sledger, Scarecrow Pyromancer, Vigilante Accelerator, and the last of the engineer skins, being Heartbreak and Mechanic. There's Pumpkin Cowboy, which was Kenyu's favorite, in part due to its angled hat look, and in part due to its late stage upgrades. Personally, I think that level 0 is top top tier, but cowboy effect. The upgraded version just kind of blends together with all the other skins for me. There's the Spooky Slasher skin, another entry in the recreation of the OG Towers look series, Gungale Ranger, which was a Cryptid's favorite skin, and definitely is one of the most distinctive ranger skins. Pirate Farm, another favorite pick from Evil Dog Blocks this time, and also the only farm skin with locomotion. Retired Cowboy, Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, Pumpkin Gladiator, Badlands Cowboy, and then, okay, do you remember like 150 skins go when I mentioned how there were two basic series skins that escaped F tier? Those were the Navy and Red Accelerator, which I think are both actually kind of sick, as they're pretty much just direct improvements to the default's color scheme while retaining the models. I think this placement is also somewhat justified as Jazzier chose Navy Accelerator as his favorite due to his big uh, white boots. The skins got a lot of drip but not as much as Bunny Minigunner. Next, there's the classic military base, whose high placement is mainly due to its merit of just being the only skin military base gets. Then there's the Ducky Accelerator, Pirate Warden, Beach Gladiator, Pirate Gladiator, Subscribe Button, please subscribe, this took so long, Parjian Ranger, Stranded Medic, Slaughter Warden, chosen by Cliche as his favorite, due to its simplicity and its satisfyingness. And personally, I like the reference to Fnatic, the Grizzly Enemy from the old Easter 2020 event. You can see how they kind of look like. Next, Wraith Minigunner, the Xmas Farm, which in retrospect I do think I ranked a bit too high. Stages 0, 1, and 5 are all great, but the mid-levels are exactly that. It's followed by Valentine's Medic, Maid Commander, Pumpkin Minigunner, Holiday Quirk Boss, Mage Accelerator, Mint Choco Freezer, which I think has to be considered the most ahead of its time skin ever, as it was created nearly 4 years ago and fits pretty much perfectly with modern TDS aesthetic. I mean they literally made a toy out of its weapon last year. Crazy. And rounding out B tier, the 200th skin of the video, I think it's kind of hard to keep track, I placed Graveyard Farm on the top. It's not a very dynamic skin, but I like it. Now, A tier, the top percentile. I have a springtime commander at the bottom. Definitely an overranking, but this skin is steeped in the vibes of the time period it was made. And I have a little bit of sentimentality for the skin, because I didn't end up getting it. Another Easter 2020 skin follows in the Bunny Medic, into the Demon Crook Boss, the Barbecue Pyromancer, the Lifeguard Commander, uh, I think the skin might be partially broken, the Mage Pyromancer, and then there's a very unique subset of skins in the Plushie series. You have to buy real life merchandise for these, making them very expensive to obtain, but that said, I do like all these skins with a slowed FPS and stitched together look. Four of the five go kinda hand in hand, and I rank them as such. First I put Plushy Scout, then Plushy Commander, Plushy Accelerator, and Plushy Minigunner at the top. The bright red color just releases too much dopamine. Above them I put Baseball Warden, Pumpkin Militant, pretty much just because of its final level, Vigilante Shotgunner, the Frost Hunter Scout, another skin I feel like is really elevated by its final level, so floofy, and another scout skin, Bunny. This is the only bunny skin I have, and its ranking is definitely a bit inflated because of that. Vigilante Gladiator follows, in my opinion, the best of the series, and also Stealth Nova's pick for favorite tower, since they actually animated him. Pirate Commando is an obvious step down in quality, but I just really like the vibe of this skin. I mean, look at him. Then there's Cyber Medic, another final level carry, the John skin, one of the most storied skins slash towers in TDS history, and sold by its own standards. Unsurprisingly, this skin was of course the favorite of a guy who does stuff, a random member of our group who picked it. But it is also John's favorite skin, as you could probably guess. The XR300 turret ran to the top 3 of A tier, followed by Witch Medic, and in the top spot, I placed Wraith Ranger, the definition of an iconic skin, and one that still looks very good on its final levels. Thatcher, Sir Corpo, picked this alongside the Wraith Minigunner as his favorites, due to how unique their aesthetic is. Now we enter the not quite final tier, S. Starting off with a bit of a goofy pick, the Slayer Shotgunner, the most broken skin in the game, as it has no firing animations and you haven't been able to get it for two and a half years, which is funny, and this also could be on TDS sued. Next, the XR500 turret, one of if not the only skin to still use the classic yellow skin tone, 
and one of the beefiest models in the game. Prime Raven and Ice Witch Accelerator are also up here, purely due to the strength of the models themselves. Ice Witch actually ended up being my highest ranked skin released in 2023. Just missing out on the top 10 is the ICT Freezer, the partner skin to the original Castus Cowboy that hasn't yet been remade. It helps that ICT himself is pretty drippy. Uh, somehow Freezer snuck two skins into S tier, as next up is Foam Freezer. Created in the style of the plushie series, the color scheme is just perfection, and the choppy animations are also fire. As to our lay on the final plushie skin, DJ. This is the skin that stands out from the other plushies as it gains completely unique props, has a big over the top final stage, and even plays a unique song in game. Plush DJ is the skin that rated the highest from 2022. Closing out S tier, there's the Eclipse Accelerator. He looks very preppy, I like it. The Springtime Slasher, which is one of the most unique color palettes in the game, and this is a skin I thought was pretty sick when I first got into TDS. And finishing off S tier, is the Eclipse Commander. The outfit and unique animations give it a lot of personality. Look at these shades. But even that's not enough to reach S plus tier. My top five skins, the best of the best. Starts off with Neko DJ. This tower is infamous among the community for sparking a pretty terrible era where people just were weird. Personally, I was very much above that. You can see my masterful and very tasteful Neko DJ thumbnail here. The skin itself is very impressive, especially considering it's approaching three years since release. The base models and character are all remade from the ground up, and the dynamic stage at the final level is pure class. Next though, this skin is the highest rank from 2021, the Bloxy Commander, a skin unlike all 237 of its peers. Released in celebration of TDS's Bloxy Awards win, it is literally victory personified but not quite as good as Gargoyle Commander. This is my highest raid 2019 skin, mainly just because it looks cool. My second highest raid tower is Ghost DJ. Unlike the rest of the Ghost set though, I feel like it does something more interesting with the aesthetic. Getting a guitar, entirely unique animations, and eventually an entire stage, sparklers and all. It's clear to see why it's a lot of people's favorite skin, including Lotech, who chose it as his top pick. Overall, my list is pretty skewed in that I generally rank the skins I don't have higher than the ones I do. Uh, there's definitely a deeper message about human nature there. I feel if I didn't own this one, I probably would have given it the number one spot. So what is my number one selection? You might have noticed, based on what year I didn't say yet, that's a skin from 2020. Uh, you probably would not guess it. My favorite skin in all of Tower Defense Simulator is... Bunny Mortar. Oh, uh, that's not a joke. That's not me memeing for a dumb payoff at the end of the video. This is genuinely my favorite TDS skin, not just from 2020, but overall. When I originally got into this game, I really liked the Mortar Tower design, particularly the final level, where it gained scaffolding beneath it that extended all the way to the ground. This is the peak of peak of peak. The new Mortar model is much higher quality overall, but it did lose that elaborate level 5 design, or at least it did on every skin except the bunny, as this skin still uses the original design, straight out of 2020, and with the animations only slightly bugged. This is the only skin in the entire game which does this, which uses the exact models from a removed tower design. Combine that with the air it's from, Easter 2020, the pink bunny suit aesthetic, and I think the skin is close to perfect, and I don't actually have the skin. This footage was all recorded with Dank, chill dude, who actually does have the skin. I personally don't, and never will be able to obtain it. Uh, life is pain. Thank you to everyone who told me their favorite skin. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and leave a comment. I am actually curious to see what skins people rate the highest, or the lowest. Bye.